can get the song started. As one large group, can we stop and clap our hands at the same time as the beat? Yeah. The track. Just like that. Let's add some piano. Good everyone. Good morning, good everyone. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Great African American Reading. My name is Gloria Kitchen, and I am so delighted to be here with you all on this afternoon to celebrate one of our amazing authors that we had on last year, which was Dr. Devin Tellis. So, Dr. Devin Tellis, hello. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. And Mr. Denby, how are you doing? Amen. I'm all right. I am wonderful. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> I still got on my pajamas, so, but I ain't, don't tell nobody. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, Dr. Tell us, we're going to go over here. We are and ready. It's on with you as well. <laughs> it's all yours. It's on is all yours. Um, so when I was with you guys last year, I read a little bit and shared a little bit about my first book that I wrote, Who's to Say? And um, so we talked a bit about that, and I told you guys that I had some other books in the work. So since then, I have written two more books to complete my um, book series. And it's called the Bright Future Book Series. And today I wanted to share with you those two books, um, as well as kind of mention what I have coming down the pike. So after Who's to Say, I wrote Always Be the Light. And after Always Be the Light, I wrote Good News. I like my brand new attitude. So all of my books in my series um, kind of have a theme of you know, positive affirmations for kids, growth mindset, um, all of those things that I believe would be good foundations for kids to have moving forward and being successful in life. So um, also, if you notice, 
have been very intentional about my characters here. So when I'm writing, I, I'm thinking about my children first and thinking about my kids that I had in the classroom. So I want to highlight black and brown characters as main characters in the book. I want my kids and other kids to be able to relate to who's um, in the story and see others that look like them when they, they read and just kind of help to bridge that gap. So um, without further ado, Miss uh, Gloria, do you want me to just share some of the book or read or what would you, how have you guys been doing it? You go well, ahead and read both of them books and go with me on. Well, thank you, Gloria. I know you asked Gloria, sorry, Sam. But go ahead okay. and read them books. We all okay. have a good time today. Okay, cool. Uh, well, I'll start with my second book, Always Be the Light. Hope you guys can see that my ring light is bright. Always be the light, for you are precious in his sight. If you're the only one, that's fine. Just stand up tall and let it shine. I'll always, always be the light for I have the power to invite. With a special hug or helping hand, a smile so wide, so warm and grand. Forever be the gleaming light, resist the wrong, embrace what's right. Set the standard, break the mold, inspire others to be bold. I'll be the everlasting light as I teach others to unite. Up with faith and down with fear. In all our blessings, keep him near. Now and ever be the light, a twinkling star, a brilliant sight. Beneath his glimmer from afar, there's no question whose you are. I'll be the never fading light and urge others to take flight. My arms reach out like wings unfurled, bringing greatness to the world. The end. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. I love the fact that it embraces us to all like the light within us to share that light in a positive manner. And so I think it was an awesome way how you just brought all of that together. So that's beautiful. And I just applaud that so much. Beautiful. Yeah. Hi, Ray, do you approve? And I love the way I love the way um you put the words inside the little beams of light on most of the pages. You had yes. like the words, so we are the light. Well, I remember last year when you told me you were gonna do this book and I was like, I can't wait to hear it because I knew it was gonna be really good. 
Yeah, and yeah, I, said, I, I still it. use Who's to Say. That's one of my favorite books. You know, the kids, that's like our opening reading for every, the beginning of the year. Who's to Say, and they like to say it with an attitude. So. <laughs> I need to get a t-shirt because people are yeah. out there like, well, who's right. I'm going to work on a t-shirt. Yeah. Yeah. When I showed you guys this book, well, told you about this book last year, I only had the words. So I hadn't done the pictures. And I remember telling you that I kind of wanted to go with the superhero theme. So, um, yeah. you know, not like traditional superhero, but, you know, we all have a, a hero or a light that's within us. And there's lots of ways to, um, Express the light, share the light with others, and it doesn't have to be on a grand scale. So that's kind of what I wanted to touch on um, in this book, you know, how we're all beautifully and wonderfully made. We all have special gifts, you know, some large, some small, but, um, you know, they're worth sharing with others and there's no reason to hide them or dim your light for anyone. So that was kind of the, the message yeah. in this book. Yeah, I love it. And um, this page here, you know, like on the classic superhero, you got your your costume on under your street clothes. Right. So you see right. the kids let yeah. us get a peek at their light. So that's kind of what leads you into the rest of the story. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's an important lesson, though, not to let other people dim your light. Amen. Yeah, now, I've been talking to the kids about that, and they were, uh, there's another story, uh, I can't remember what it was, but we were reading it and talking about dimming, you know, the the, per, the character in there whose light kept dimming every time somebody said negative, something negative to them, and I was like, well, you know, it's important not to let other people dim your light, and so we started, they, they could go through that, have that conversation because they were like, they understand your light with, is within. So, you know, that's a very important lesson. Yeah, it is important for um, just establishing that self-confidence early on. Like I said, not everybody's light is the same, but be proud of the light that you have and know that it's valuable and that um, it can make an impact on the world in any kind of way that you um, put forth to use it. So very important for kids to, to learn and to kind of keep in mind as they get older and get knocked around out here in these streets. Right. So, <laughs> it happens. Yeah, oh, it's coming. <laughs> it's coming for sure. No doubt about that. Okay, um, I guess I can move on to my... We're slide. ready for good news. Yeah, good news. <laughs> All right, so here it is. Good news. I like my brand new attitude. All right, half empty or half full should not be the question asked. Why can't we just be thankful to simply have a glass? What if I don't win every game? Good news, I'm still a winner. What if I fall off my bike? Good news, I don't stay down, I get back up. What if I have a bad day and things just don't go my way? Good news, tomorrow is a new day and I can have a fresh start. What if someone doesn't like me? Good news, my real friends like me and I like myself. What if I don't always get along with my family? Good news, we respectfully agree to disagree and embrace our differences. What if I make a mistake? 
Good news. I will have a new opportunity to get it right. My mistakes do not define me. What if they don't choose me? Good news, I choose me and I will learn and grow from my experiences. What if the doctor says that I'm sick? Good news, I find comfort in knowing that I'm mentally and spiritually strong. What if I give it my all, but I still can't reach my goal? Good news, I shift my mindset and I'm happy with what I can do. What if I don't get everything I want? Good news, I will be thankful that I do get what I need. I like these shoes just as much. I like my brand new attitude. I know that I can choose to always have my glass half full of promising bright views. The end. Now, I was trying not to go to church, but <laughs> somebody told me we was getting too good and too right churchy on here. But I'm telling that's a sermon right there. I ain't even think about it like that. You said half empty or half full. Well, forget about that. I'm just thankful to have a glass. That part. That <laughs> what else need to be said? I mean, <laughs> go on. <laughs> That's a new attitude. That that just like sparked something in me. Like, oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't even thought about. You know, I'm always thinking, oh, the glass is half full. <laughs> I'm just thankful to have a glass. Thank you for sharing that powerful lesson. <laughs> You're welcome. Yes, I love that book. That's gonna be another one that I have to. Keep on the shelf. Those are some powerful things. What if the people is. don't like me? Good news. <laughs> I got some, you know, because we got a lot of kids, you know, them, those babies, they, oh, she don't like me. She don't like me. Mm -mm. Let's read this book right here. I'm Let, telling you. Yes. That, Let's have a lesson. <laughs> I like myself. That is yeah. important. Absolutely. Yeah. And sometimes that's one of the most important lessons you can learn early. And if you learn it early, you won't have, you know, people don't control you in life as you get older. You know, a lot of people control you like that. Well, I'm not going to be your friend. I'm not going to talk to you. So they control you and get you to do what you, what they want you to do. And mm -hmm. to, when, once you learn that I don't have to be friends with them, I could just love myself and I'll be just fine. That's one of the best lessons ever. Yeah. I'm telling you. And I'm yeah. glad you, we turned you teaching it to them early. I'm trying. It's very important. Uh, the earlier, yeah. the better. Um, loving yourself, being self-confident, recognizing that you are unique and you have gifts to be shared um, and that you, yeah. you are kind of the, the author of your own destiny. You know, the world is your oyster. Yeah. And who's to say that you can't do what you want to do um, yeah. as far as achieving things? So all of these, I kind of try to have a message that ties together and the messages that reinforce each other. Um, and that's good for the kids and good reminders for the parents. Yeah. We all, you we did. All need it. We all need it. Yeah. You did that because that's what it's like. And it's like you cleverly put it in the story, not really not really saying like you got to learn to love yourself you it's just like this clever way that you put it that brings that out in everything that you do i love that thank you mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm.
Well, you know, I'm a Dr. Devin Taylor's fan, so. <laughs> I appreciate it, Kyrie. Thank you. Well, I enjoyed your book. I enjoyed your book as well. And so I know Mr. Demby has said everything and more of what we need. <laughs> Because when he gets excited about a book, I just let him have his way. So <laughs> I just let him have his way because he gets he gets oh he gets excited and he starts talking and he's looking over at me to see whether or not do I have anything to say. So I just let him just flow in his in his um children, his children anointing. I let him flow in his <laughs> I let him flow, I let him flow. But overall, you know, it definitely, you know, I do believe that you bring a, a different um, approach as it relates to children's literature. And I think that is, it's definitely something that we can embrace. And I do know that we all, um, we, we need to be different so that we bring a different um, flair and a different flavor and a different color to just overall children's literature as it, as it, as it is. So I definitely am asking various questions throughout the from from the authors, and I I believe I started that on last the week before last. So I do have a question for you. So a question for you, and of the questions that I have asked is like, what does innovation mean to you? What does creativity mean to you? And what you know? But I have a question. My question is outside of that question. I would like to ask you a question on this. What is the significance of having representation of African-American children in literature? Oh, goodness. That's a little question of the year. You did, um, girl. You went deep on us. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? It's kind of what drives what I do. It's one of the primary reasons that I um, I wrote my books and chose my characters and, and my messages accordingly. Um, you know, I'm a mom and I'm a teacher, so um, seeing having kids well, giving kids the opportunity to see themselves in different scenarios mm -hmm. and different plot lines, achieving, making mistakes, all the human things that you get to see, you know, I guess mainstream what, what the society deems as mainstream um, do on a daily basis. Um, mm -hmm. Representing, having representation for ourselves in literature helps us become more human, if that makes sense. Um, mm -hmm. Because for as long as we've known it, we we haven't really been viewed as being human, quote unquote. Um, and so it was my goal, my children, to see themselves doing regular everyday things, experiencing regular everyday problems, working through those problems, having one of a kind experiences, achieving, excelling, being on top of you know being on top of the world, traveling, all of those different things. Because once they are able to see it. They can achieve it. They can visualize it and put themselves in that character shoe. It gives them something to um, strive for, to look forward to, and you know, just to be able to mentally picture themselves in those places um, mm -hmm. is a, is an important to have. It's a, it's an important outlet to have. And you know, you go through school and you read and you have teachers and you don't really see many people that look like you. Um, it, it kind of wears on you and it, and it kind of, I don't want to say puts blinders on you, but in a way it does, because it doesn't show you all the world that's out there, all the possibility that's out there. So it's my hope with choosing the characters that I've chosen in my books and for books to come and other authors doing the same thing that we will kind of bridge that gap and create opportunities for our kids to imagine, to be innovative to see themselves in places that we were normally not pictured or normally not um, highlighted. So all of this is to bridge that gap and to create opportunities. Mm -hmm. Well, Dr. Tellis, you know, I wasn't trying to um, just put you on the spot like that, but I kind of did in a sense, but it wasn't intentional because oftentimes when I have that question to come out, it just, it's just there and it's very present. I definitely agree with you that the representation for, you know, for African Americans has not been as prominent as it needs to be. You know, um, one of the things that I definitely see um, that I noticed, like with my parents, and when they watched 
TV. It's always others that they're watching and it's not significantly us and we have more to offer. I love good times, you know, and things of that nature. However, I think that there's so many other contributions that we do have outside of just viewing us in a um, impoverishment state at some point. It's always a struggle to come out. It's a struggle to get there, you know, and things of that nature. So really bringing a, a lift and an energy of optimism, you know, because we have grown as a people in various in various ways, you know, in education and culture and experience and hopefully in understanding and appreciating our history so that we can prepare for it and move forward in in effectiveness. So I I appreciate your 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 dialogue and your em, embracing that there needs there is not there needs to be, but there is active movement in making sure that there that you know that there is an there there is an answer and i in in my personal opinion i feel like as authors in children literature we are the answer we are the active answer and so we're taking on a call that is a big task so that's the importance of us having our own individuality because there are so many types of learners as educate you know that and there's probably some new theories of learning and things yeah. of that nature so because we bring our own individuality, we're able to meet the needs of all the individual learners. Therefore, we're meeting the individual needs of all children. So, you know, I greatly appreciate you. I didn't even mean to say all of that, but however, you know, Absolutely. I think that it's, it's, it's significant. So, you know, I can talk, talk, listen, I can express on my expertise as well. So no, I'm just being extra. But for the most part, I think that it is, uh, it is um, astounding to see representation of um, of black authors, you know, and again, I must say, um, you know, I'm I'm very appreciative of Mr. Denby. Y'all don't email him, okay? But I appreciate Mr. Denby for um, just having the um, they having the. Uh, I'm I'm being extra. I'm pretty sure they're gonna email you anyway, but that's okay. <laughs> but um, for the most part, I I appreciate him having the the foresight in seeing the need of you know, of evolving something like this, because out of this is creating additional networks, is creating different groups, is def creating, definitely creating different subsets that needs to address these needs, because there's always going to be a need to be met. And I, I truly believe that we are really filling the gap. So, you know, Mr. Denby, I give you your, your flowers now, and I always tell you, you know, I thank you very much for having that, that foresight and that insight. And I and I'm very appreciative of myself even having the the not the, the understanding to just say okay let's go ahead and do it. So, um, but with all that being said, I think that you did a phenomenal um, explanation and provided great understanding and clarity as to where we are now and where we're propelling and moving to the future. Thank you. Um, you said something that made me have a thought. Um, about uh, the reference for Good Times and other shows of that nature. Mm -hmm. uh, platforms like this and networking with other um, authors of color who make, uh, you know, books for our kids, it kind of gives us an opportunity to change the narrative. You know, on the, in those shows, it was a very, um, you know, myopic point of view from someone who was not us. Mm -hmm. um, and now that times are changing and evolving and we have these spaces where we can have conversations about where we're lacking and where there are gaps. It's really awesome to be able to get a chance to play a part in changing the narrative or creating the narrative. So right. it all ties back into, back into, you know, whereas people, you know, 50 years ago only saw Black characters in impoverished situations or, you know, things like that, you know, look at where we're, what we're putting out there now. Look at what we can be, look at what we can do. Let's start getting our mind on that track and getting innovative and getting, um, you know, hopeful and excited about all the possibilities and not just being told, this is the box that you fit into. Right. Um, and that's where you need to stay. Or a hard right. no. <laughs> or a hardcore no. Uh, right. And a hard way. Yeah, well, see, you, you, now I was going to try not to talk about it, but that is so true because 
that's I know people don't like Bill Cosby. They met, you know, they met he what he did was totally wrong, but it should not negate what he did for black people because he gave us, he put us in a new light. And you know, a black family with a mom and dad successful, a doctor, a lawyer, then different world. Black people, like I wouldn't, I didn't even know anything about an HBCU right. until different, you know, people, that was a word that never came up. And then when I watched that show, that's what made, oh, I got to go to me. I want to go to an HBCU. I want to go to FAMU, Bethune Cookman College, you know, all of these different, you know, because of those things, because of that representation, you know, and that's why, and like I, I tell people, I'm, you know, that I hate the the Wiz, that movie, The Wiz. Oh, yeah. Because, like, she was in the ghetto, and, you know, which is okay, ain't nothing wrong with it. But then you not took her from the real ghetto to the imaginary ghetto. Um, <laughs> what, wait a minute, I thought this was supposed to be imaginary. You know, when Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz, she went to this nice, wonderful, Land of all, we don't. The weird went, girl. I'm a, I'm a hush. I'm a hush. That's my soapbox. But that is very important. Gloria, you shouldn't have brought that up. <laughs> no, but I'm no, just I just, no, I just wrote that me is me. very important to have representation that looks like us. That is not just doing the same old, you know. We can only it's be successful old, if we dog and dog steal and, and or rob and, yeah. Right. And that's why, you know, I have another problem with, um, what's the show with the radio, um, with uh, Lucius and Lucius Lions and all of them. Uh -oh. You know, they stealing and beating and bombing and killing people. I know that's what people say you have to do to be successful, but how come we had to do it first? How come? You know, I know they were doing it on Knott's Landing and Dynasty and stuff, but we could, they, they shouldn't, they put us in a different light. We can only be rich if we do. You know, I, that that's why I had to stop watching those kinds of shows, Power. We can only be rich if we selling drugs or stealing, you know, mm -mm. that that's not the representation I want. If I had kids, we wouldn't be watching it, you know. So, but anyway, I'm gonna hush. That's my soapbox. Thank you so much, Dr. Devin. Tell us where can we find your books? Would you tell the people that? Because <laughs> you got a few people. fans here on Facebook. They they, they 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 screaming out. <laughs> well, they can find my books on my website. It's Dr. Devin Creates. It's all one word. Um, dot com. Dr. Devin Creates dot com. Um, if you're an Amazon kind of person, I I do have uh, Amazon links out there so you can search my name Devin Tellis D-E-V-E-N Tellis T-E-L-L-I-S on Amazon and they will be there for you as well um, yeah I, I just saw your book the best in me coloring book oh, yeah. like, oh come this on <laughs> you know I don't leave home without it so <laughs> this is my coloring book um, it's the best me and uh just kind of along the same lines of as my book, I've gotten some illustrations. Oh, it's hard for you to see. Pictures from my books, pictures and activities. And each page has an inspirational um, kind of quote or phrase. So this one says, use your voice. These are just pictures from all, you know, kind of pulled from all of my books right. superheroes don't wear capes and there are also activities in there so i was um really wanted to include some writing exercises for the kids uh, kind of mini journal entries yeah they've got some uh, let me find this is one of my favorites imagine the possibilities this is from my first book oh yeah but um this one is very important so we were talking about representation. So this is a mirror, you know, asking the kids to draw what you see when you look in the mirror. Who are you? What do you look like? Oh, wow. Is it beautiful? 
Um, and this is the teacher teacher in me with kind of my version of Mad Libs. And these are all kind of positive statements and, you know, just things kids should be talking about with regards to their lives in school. So that's right. in here too. Yeah. So this was kind of a, another little spin-off love child of my of my three books and uh, since I last saw you guys and I was it was really fun to make fun project and um, I had one more thing that I did I ventured out and made a puzzle if you guys can see this so it's a wooden puzzle all of these pop out but they are phrases. Um, from the book, oh, Be right. a Flaw. This, this really goes, especially with my first book, just talking about who's to say you can't do all these things or be right. all these things. So if you love a puzzle, this, is, this one's for you. All right. I'm telling you, I am a fan. <laughs> yeah. And so I've already placed your website in the chat. Uh, okay, and great. the Amazon link just so everybody can find it. Um, I mean, we're getting so many comments from uh, Miss Deirdre Watson. My sister Kim James is watching. My mom Linda Brown is watching. Uh, I see um, Miss Deborah. Um, uh oh, hold on, Miss Denise Keys Roberts. That's the mother of Arthur Lewis Roberts, who is watching also. Miss Deborah Mays. Uh, we have a whole lot of comments under here. They just coming in, coming in, coming in. Carla Francis, thank you for watching. Thank you guys for watching. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, Gloria. I, I'm, I did not mean to take over. <laughs> Gloria. Yes, I'm here. I just didn't even think nothing. I'm not even gonna go this Friday. <laughs> we almost finished. We almost finished. We got how many more days left? I'm not going. I am, I'm, I'm sorry. Kidding. I am. I am just always excited. Dr. Devin tell us come with these books and get these energies flowing about who's to say and now she got be the light and now she got good news. I don't have to be worried about you anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm oh you're fine. You you're totally yeah. fine. It, it's okay. We we are we do this together and we do it amazingly. So when when you have your inspiration and your feeling, your your gift of um children anointing fall on you, I let you flow. So when it come to when I have it, let me flow, okay? Remember that. <laughs> <laughs> We're practicing shared governance. We're practicing we shared governance. <laughs> Dr. And we got Tara Dorsey Nix. Is, mm -hmm. I think she, that's your aunt. Oh, she oh said, yes. Congratulations, yes. niece. <laughs> Thank you. I feel like this is one. This is one of the most comments we've had. You know, interact. Oh, yeah. So we we doing pretty good today. I think you got a lot of Dr. Devin Taylor's fans. Yay! <laughs> I'm excited. Glory, when Glor Gloria said she's going to start, she's going to work on getting Children's Island on TV and being like on TV. So I say she'll have to have a Dr. Devin Taylor show Let's where you come it. in and just be like, do give some tips. <laughs> I yeah, can see that. Happening. Key phrases with yeah. our shirt, our shirt. Yeah. Match. As you see, and as you see on live syndicated TV, he gives me more work to do. All right. <laughs> do you did you just see that? I don't know if anybody caught that, but all I know is this is more work to do. Okay. We're just right. putting it out there, putting it out there, speaking it into existence, and manifesting these great things. <laughs> Since you're going to get a TV station and TV show already, speak it. you might Sorry, as well speak have it. a Dr. Devin Taylor show. Yes, speak <laughs> it. Uh, she can help children and adults, I'm telling you. For everyone. 
<laughs> all through this whole thing, you should see these notes. You should see the notes I've written already. Listen, look at all these notes I've written. If y'all think I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm not. Like I got you can't really see because of the thing. But as I, you know, like all I say is y'all email him if you want to. That's all I do. <laughs> No, I'm messing with you. I'm messing with you. But yeah, yes, yes, yes. So we 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 do have we do have some high as we do have some aspirations that we definitely will achieve with Children's Island. So I'm looking forward to sharing some really good news and when we come into the fall of 2022. So we have some we have some definitely have some <clears throat> some work to be done. And Mr. Dempsey's gonna be right there, right there the whole time. Not just de- not just delegating, but actively engaged. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! But no, no, no. We definitely, 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 we can, we can definitely look into that as well. I think it'll be a really good, it'll be a really good, um, a good thing. But we'll definitely talk more about it offline for sure when we get had the opportunity for for sure. So again, I really appreciate everybody for joining us for day twenty five. And it's it's very you know I was talking Kai and I was talking about the, the other night when we went back to look at views and stuff. And oftentimes you know we just see maybe like five three people to, because it gives you the little eye icon and it say like three people. And then when we go back and look, it's like. There are people watching for real, like, you know, like for real, regardless and if you go to church. Eyes, but they go back and watch. Right. right. So yeah. regardless if we go to church, regardless what <laughs> you know, people are really watching. So it's really creating a momentum. So we're looking forward to um as we move back, as we not move back, but as we move forward and continue to move forward, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be it's gonna get better, better and not better, it's gonna become greater and greater and greater. So I'm just truly really excited. Good. And everyone who has been with us all all these nights, I just want to say thank you very much for supporting us. You know, it is definitely a worthwhile commitment for us to come on here and engage with these amazing, fantastic, and phenomenal artists um, who have brought some very interesting creativity to the forefront. And, you know, we have some resounding themes, such as boys, Dr. Taylor's had, had little boys in her, had her boys in her, um, in her, in her um in her books and that's something that um, missy demi has been promoting very strong boys in literature and things of that nature and we look forward to doing a a panel where we're going to bring in um, our black authors our male authors for this season um in a different zoom as well and i probably will select uh, because i know the the women will be like well where where, where, where we at so i'm probably going to select maybe five or six to bring on back on so we can have a dialogue and talk about um, talk about some things as well. So I'm just looking forward. And if you have, if you would like to be a part of that, let me know, and then I can put you sure. on the list. I yes, have I a little male man child in my house, mm-hmm. and I have a dog, so I can bring some perspective from both sides. Mm-hmm. And uh, and I made sure to put them in my books. Yeah. So yeah, that'd be great conversation. All right. So sounds good to me. And we probably well, you know what? I, I was thinking about the value since we always have like a a spark of innovation and thought sometimes I was thinking about maybe we can bring on <clears throat> some of the, the um, some of the people that have been watching if they wanted to come yeah. on like you know like um, Mrs. Denise um, Keys Robert probably most likely and maybe um, hmm, I'm just thinking maybe bring like three people on to give us you know some thoughts about how how they perceive the show I'm looking at it from an assessment feature you know <laughs> So we can yes, we can gravitate some important assessments right very, very right important. to get right to get some qualitative data you know <laughs> which would be, all of the above right okay which would be very um insightful as well so all right you all before mr Demby says all right glory let's close us out it's friday well we <laughs> I wasn't going to close up that yet because I had, I was thinking about something. I'm going to take my background off for a minute because my mom, listen, mama has been inspired um, by this um, reading. And she said she wants to make, she has, um, she said she want to make a blanket and a um, pillow for every book 
And so I'm going to tell the authors, I'm going to show y'all mask she made for me. How she made my book into oh, a blanket. Wow. So she, she has been trying to find something to do. So you all, all you authors have inspired my mom. Oh. And she had, she is intending That's so cool. to oh, make man. a blanket and pillow for every book. So I'm, when they are done, I'm sure I will reach out to you all and let you all know. She is going to be a busy lady. She is going to be a busy lady. Oh, <laughs> I love that. And she's going to do it too. Oh my goodness. <laughs> How long did it take her to make that one, Kyrie? I didn't ask. I really should ask. Oh. <laughs> but I think she did it for my birthday. So it, it was like two weeks. I think she oh. had started okay. on because it's like handmade. She's strong. I mean, she put like the yarn in there for the sea and the, for the seaweed. And then it, it's very intricate. So I was like. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's going to be her project awesome. for the yeah. next two months. So authors, be on the lookout for your blanket. Definitely. <laughs> I will be on the lookout. <laughs> so that's, I just, I, I heard you say a lot of people have been inspired. Um, and so, oh, she put, she put in the chat, that's what she said, a squeeze pillow and a blanket coming soon for your book. Yes. So, that is totally excited. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm a hush. Now I'm finished, Gloria. Oh, <laughs> well, you know, I don't I I call I called her author Linda Brown on the thing, but I called her mother. Wow, mother, that is I'm speechless. Right. Wow. And it's that's hum that's very humbling. On the cry, but that's we are family, mom. That's right? My mom. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Um, so you know, um, but you know, but honestly, outside of this, you know, we we are very well connected and we are family, and so that is wow, that's beautiful. Um, so we will definitely, we definitely have to do a highlight for mother for sure, mm -hmm. um, and acknowledge her about that. She, <laughs> she even have her own Zoom and everything. So, um, and I think this would be a very good opportunity because I know, wow, that's all I have to say because I'll start crying in a minute. But anyway, <laughs> I'll start, I'll have a little cry and I don't want to start crying on here. So, but um, for the most part, Mother, thank you very much for doing that. It's yeah, so beautiful you. of you to do that. And I, I know that it's going to be very well received. Mm -hmm. So without any... Anything I, I say, I have any further ado. I wonder where we get all of that from. Listen to Carol Burnett early. <laughs> I guess I don't know. But anyway, for the most part, have an amazing day, everyone. Have a wonderful, amazing evening and have a wonderful night. And we will see you all on tomorrow. We do have something special that we're doing on tomorrow, which is, um, which is Arthur Lewis Roberts. He's going to come in at 12 p.m. I spoke to him about that, Kyra. Um, come 12 p.m. We're going to do a 12 p.m. live for him to do um, Witty the Itty Bitty Kitty. Okay. So we'll have him on tomorrow at 12. It'll be um, just a quick one, kind of a quick one through, but it will definitely, he's going to read his book and it's going to be streamed from my page so that we can have it on um, Children's Island as well. So, Dr. Tellis, thank you very much for joining us on tonight. You know, you're one of our faves. And for having it. me, it's always a fun time. Yes. Well, thank you for your support. Harry, let me know when you get your shirts made. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will. I will. <laughs> so, have a, this has been a very monumental moment on Children's Island. And again, thank you very much, um, Mother Arthur Linda Brown, for even expressing your. Um, for expressing your creativity and showing it in a very humongous way, you know, gigantic way. So it's very appreciate appreciated much so. So again, I'm gonna say this, I tried to close out three times and this is the official time now. 
We are Children's Island Learning is a Breeze, and we will see you all tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for day number 26. All right, y'all. Have a great evening. Good night. <laughs>